All right, hello everybody. This is Demon coming in for well, I guess an update for the game. Um, well, not a game, but channel and overall. Um, I know we're getting uh, this February first. I'm actually recording this on. I don't know when I release the update, but I'm gonna try to hold myself till about like 10, 15 minutes. Um, at best, uh, chances are I could go over depending on how I feel. Uh, but if anybody's curious, yes, I've changed my character's outfit for the millionth time. This is the new one. I kind of like it. This is actually the new adventure outfit. I had to, I decided to switch it up a little bit. The only thing I don't like is the pants a little bit. Uh, the one issue I have is this little thing right here. I don't like that. I wish I was gone, but I have to live with it. It's there. Nonetheless, I still like the way my character looks like now. I've dyed her hair gray. She looks great. Yeah, more of like a silver color. That's gray. Yeah, gray. Nonetheless, still cool. Um, so if anybody's curious as things going on on the channel, don't worry, nothing too major. The only thing I wanted to sit there and discuss was um, a couple things going on. First things first, I have been doing a couple of streams. Yes, streams. So weird of me. Um, it's been kind of something I've been holding off on to for a while now. I've been saying I'm going to do streams, and I never really got around to doing it. Uh, so I'm doing like a stream exclusive game where I'm not going to really record it, but if you want in on it, you guys kind of sit back and watch. Uh, again, you're more than welcome to join in on it. Sit there and watch. Uh, I've been doing the Trotsky run. I do leave a, I do leave link in description, and I do post a video on it when I'm doing the run. Um, so far, it's it's not gone too bad. Um, if you are watching it, then you know that eventually I'm going to post it on YouTube and use it as a post day. Um, the only difference being is that I'm thinking of allowing the episodes to run for about an hour versus the typical 30 minuters or better yet when I get lost tr track of time 45 minuters or possibly 50s or in some cases it does hit an hour I don't know it depends on how I feel uh, I might cut it up I might not but in the end I'm, I'm thinking about doing an hour increment just because it's you know recordings from a stream um, the only issue I was kind of running into and it was a bit frustrating on my part um, I had to think it over was do I stream it in 720p or 1080p and I ended up doing 1080p so hopefully if you are somebody who is on the YouTube side of things trying to watch I'm actually hoping you guys can actually watch it um, hopefully you can leave um, if you watch the update for this you guys can kind of give me a rundown of what you think if I'm able to actually get the go because uh, the only other option I have is to stream it in 720p um, and record it in 720p because I've been having an issue with Streamlabs and it's incredibly frustrating there is some type of staticky noise formulating into the game or into the stream and I can't figure out how to override it um, and the other issue is um, the audio for the alert box is broken I have no idea what the hell was wrong with it and I can't figure out what if, if, I, if I have the alert box as a separate audio thing and somebody follows or anything involved in it, all I get is this. Blink. Nothing. I hear nothing. Nothing goes off. Nothing's triggered. And I don't know why. But when I remove it and it goes back into a separate file or gets joined into the actual in-game audio, it's fine. But the problem is it's so goddamn loud. It is so frustrating. I, I literally was going to get... I, I, I'm, I'm literally going nuts over it because there's literally nothing I can do on my end. And it's just it, it, it's just frustrating and I, I'm getting pissy with it. So I said, screw it. I'm done with Streamlabs. I'm just going to do everything through OBS. Somebody speaking, I'll have my phone out. I can kind of watch. I mean, nonetheless, I'm still doing it off my phone anyway, but... Having it on Streamlabs was convenient because I kind of liked having the follow stuff set up. It was really cool at the time, but I, something went on between the last time I used Streamlabs and uh, the last couple days, and it's just, it isn't working properly. So I, I'm done trying to fool with it. So OBS is the way to go. And the Streamlabs OBS anyway, it's, it's Streamlabs at best. I, I don't know. And, and, and because I'm doing it this way, before I would try to do Streamlabs separately, and it would get vaudded into 720p while at the same time I'm running OBS and OBS is running at 1080p and 
that made it convenient because then I wouldn't have to hold myself to keeping the thing going for too long. But so far, the streams have actually been doing really well. Um, I don't think there, I, I haven't, I, I kind of skipped through a couple of them recently just to make sure they're running properly. And for the most part, it seems like it's doing really well, so I'm kind of happy about it. Um, otherwise, there's really nothing else to discuss on that front. Um, at the same time, uh, you guys can sit there and see this. I've never showed this place off before. This is an apartment reveal. Uh, I'm really happy I got one of these. Um, the only problem I ran into was, um, I never have done the, what do you, what you call it, the, uh, grand company stuff. So I never had a chance to get one of these. So I had to end up convincing myself because I was talking to somebody, uh, where I work at. Uh, he was a former employee, but he came in. He's like, you know, there's apartments in that game, right? And I went what i was like where where i did not know this and yeah he basically sat there and discussed it and i found my apartment um i mean i kind of can disclose well and eh, i don't want to do it because there's other players here and i don't want to be rude to them i'll just take it as this is kind of what it looks like i have the i have that thingy from the tiger event uh that was from the four lords that's been with me for a long time uh, I had to find the table. Um, I got this thingy from doing uh, Where Low. I like that. It's my Gundam. Um, I also got this from the like Moonfire Ice Event thing. And I didn't realize you can actually eat these things. So I have it sitting in the center as a centerpiece. So people can numb on it. Um, nonetheless, I only have two chairs. Uh, I found this rug thing too. I love the rug. Uh, I also got this from the, um, I don't remember where this one's from. I think it's, uh, the three ladies, the, the songbirds thing. I think that's where that came from. I can't remember. Uh, the chair, got that, got bookshelf. This is another thing from Wearlow. This is one of the, the, the tings you gotta fight. I can't remember which one this one is, but it's cool. Uh, I ended up turning this thing off. This is my orchestration roll. Um, I love this thing. I just have like select music playing, but nonetheless, I can't really do much else with it. Um, I have it only off because I don't want FF to come after me. I don't want Square Enix to be angry because I'm using this and it's not accompanying like actual game footage or something. I don't know. Their, their, their copyright system for their music is kind of weird. It's like they don't mind you playing it. It's just you got to be careful and I don't want it playing like this is like very default music with stuff going on so it's kind of like I'm just kind of highlighting stuff so and as far as I know every time I've done like recordings with this character inside like the apartment I haven't had him come after me for playing the music so I'm assuming this music it like default music's fine too because it's very casual but I actually have like actual in-game tracks um, that I can play and it, it's set on a loop it's cool uh, I also found this thing cost some money it was neat to get to that way I can get the I think it's what is his name is the acetessian I don't know how to say his name but uh, he comes here too and he cut my character's hair when I bought one uh, the only other thing I gotta get is a summoning bill so I can summon my uh, people here too um, that'd be another nice thing I also found a bath I like this bath I like the stone structures and I also have a dresser it's neat also, I upgraded this thing. This thing was like a single light bulb, but now I got a chandelier, and I am happy. Uh, other than that, I really haven't done much to my apartment. I kind of want to go get more stuff, but um, I'm poor, and I don't want to spend my money on stuff. Uh, there are things I am doing, though. Uh, I do have to do one more company seal to get uh, another emote. I've been doing this to get emotes now, so I've been kind of going crazy with it. Which one did I end up getting? I think it's a special emote. I think it's... No, it ain't there. I know it's somewhere on here. It's like, uh... Where you at, you little bad? Probably under favorites. Probably used it recently. God damn it. Nope, I haven't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got this one. It says at ease. I have that, and then I also found reflect. So I have now two extra things to use for my character. So it's fun. Um... That's the only bad thing when I played this game. I started learning that um, there, there are easier ways to acquire these things. But um, I also have Mythic Clan marks I've been doing. I've been running around doing the daily weekly hunts over in Kugane. 
Um, and I'm actually kind of happy that I ended up doing some of this because I learned that um, the, hunt, the monster, I have to unlock it, but you have to go all the way back to Realm Reborn, then go through Heaven's Ward, and then do the stuff in Stormblood. Um, I never did any of that, so I had to run around. Luckily, I don't have to kill anything because I'm already high level. It just kind of let me clear it, so I've been I've been kind of satisfied with that. Um, other updates for game. I've also been trying to do my... Uh, I never bothered to do anything with my bow for Relic Weapon. So, I've been sort of religiously going after this. So, now I'm trying to get the bow to glow again. Um, I had the I had whatever one was for Realm Reborn, but I think this is the Heaven's Word stuff you can unlock. So I'm kind of doing it now. At least I think it is. I could be wrong, but it it is so stupid. I hate how long it takes. Like look at this. Look at this. You have to go through. I got to do Hala Top. I didn't do that on hard. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Where I'll get me in trouble. But it, it's a very time-consuming process. You have to do nine of these goddamn books. I've already done two, and I have to do seven more. And then I have to go back to the guy to tell him that I did all the books. So then I can say I'm done with it. And then I think I can go buy something to then unlock the glowy bits for my weapon. It, it It's a very complex series of events. And I find it to both be fun, but incredibly uh, time-consuming. Um, and since I'm playing, since it's, I'm assuming Realm Reborn slash Heaven's Ward stuff, it shouldn't shock me all that much, because at the time, I know Square was kind of like in that mixture ground where it didn't know how long time consumption was going to be. So it's more time consuming to do this stuff. Um, as I said, there's also the mythic things I'm doing, which I have to unlock these Centuro seals to then be able to go buy more stuff. Um, so it's kind of fun. Um, the other thing I got to go do is try to do all these com grand company missions so that I can unlock more emotes so my character can look like she's exercising, even though I, and not in a million years would you find me doing exercising because um, I'm lazy as hell. Somehow not fat, but still lazy as hell. Um, beyond that, it's like that's all I've been really doing in this game. I like my apartment. I like it a lot. This place is cool. I'm glad I have one now. I, I, I really was like, I really wanted to go get a house, but after learning about the comp, the apartment stuff, I was like, who the hell wants it? Who wants a house? Keep the apartment forever. And then, um, and I know when the firmament comes out with all the housing, I know that stuff's going to get real crazy real soon. So uh, I was also thinking about maybe I should have held up all my money and kind of went over there to firmament and Ishgard and got my house. But um, I, I'm just over at the lavender beds. So I kind of, I kind of show it off. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Um, go outside building. Yeah, so th this is where I'm at. I'm in the lavender bed. I actually didn't know this, but there is an area where you spawn at. I can run over there, and it's neat. Which, my area is really quiet, so I haven't really seen other players. I've only seen like one or two other players through here, but most of them are usually either offline or doing other stuff. But I, I didn't know this was a thing, but y I guess you can swim through all this water. So I, I can see why the events in this game, where a lot of people do endgame stuff here, where they sort of like run around and throw parties and stuff. I mean, I definitely can see you doing it. There's a lot of probability possibilities with this game, and it's really cool. Like, wh why would you not throw a giant swim party down here? My like, bruh. Bruh. It's neat as hell. Like, that's something I think they... I, I, I'm hoping what ends up happening is, is eventually Square can kind of let you do these things. That'd be kind of cool. Like, 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 this is like beachfront property. Like, literally, you could set this entire place up to be, like, some of the most relaxing stuff players can do. And it'd be so freaking cool, dude. But, and, I, and, and for the average, like, FF player, they kind of already know this. But for me, I kind of went in blind, so I knew nothing about these places. So, um, it's been really neat. Um, beyond that, it's really, that's all I got to say about it. I, I just, I never really truly understood most of this stuff. But it's really cool when you really start to think in and consider it um besides that um that's just everything i've been doing in ff so far i said i was gonna record pandemonium i decided not to uh reason being is just i just didn't have any interest uh maybe when it's finished and all is done maybe i'll go back and redo it like i always say i'm gonna do with like all the other trials and one well, other trials but all the other raids um 
So far, I can say the bosses is the bosses are very intriguing. I do enjoy the fourth one. I'm going to be trying to get the song for him because I like the ba I, I like the uh, battle music for it. It's really cool. Um, besides that, there's not really much else to discuss on that front. I wonder if I go in here. Pog. Uh, besides that, in case people are curious and or wondering about other content coming out on the channel, um, just take note. I know about it. Calm down. Everything will be fine. Uh, otherwise. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm out here doing emotes. Eh, there's nobody around. That'd be weird. Try to explain that. Um, but don't worry about it nonetheless. Uh, just take note that uh, as a player or in this game, yeah, I don't think he really cares. I've seen worse happening in the dam. Go to Lamenza. Play this game, go to Lamenza. You'll see some horrific stuff go down. Um, Lamenza is a it's, it's, it's a... it's a fun location. But on the other hand, I'm, like, I'm on this home world here for Ultras. I, I never see too much go on here. It's pretty quiet. I actually learned that like the server area that I'm in is some of the other worlds, I think, are more Brazilian-based. So I guess there's a lot of South American people that play on these servers. But I, I think they said mine was like full of douches, <laughs> if I remember correctly, because they like to troll people. Um, but I think that's stopped happening now. But nonetheless, it's still a uh, prominent thing that happens every year. Uh, but I, I never noticed too much. Um, in terms of friendliness, like, most people are pretty friendly over here. I've never had an issue with anybody on Ultros. Um, I've only ever had a couple issues whenever playing dungeons. And it was just over disagreements on stuff, but I usually just kept my mouth shut and just kind of let everybody argue. It's pretty fun to watch sometimes, because I'm just like, I know nothing about healing, I know nothing about tanking, this is why I don't do it. You people want to argue with each other and complain, you do your thing. Me, on the other hand, I'm doing that. Um, besides that... Um, oh yeah, I guess it does tell you which ward I'm in. I'm in ward 5. You want to come see Demon? Go to ward 5. But you have to find out which apartment I'm in first. AKA, look for my character's name. Um, besides that. Just know my, my apartment's on lockdown. Ain't nobody allowed in. So if you come here, you ain't getting in. Um, my apartment. Uh, nonetheless, uh, in terms of content for the channel, like I've done, I think I've done all my Final Fantasy update I wanted to do. Um, in terms of content for the channel, though, as I said, we're doing a Trotsky run on Twitch. Um, it's already gotten to... I've already got... I have Supreme Soviet. I just beat the Germans back. It's been fun. It's been entertaining. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's been it's been a build-up time, literally, where I've had to build up my troops. Um, but I'm already getting past the 1950 stuff, and I'm getting ready for a war with both Britain. I think I'm also going to go for Finland. Uh, the other thing I have to eventually do is um, fight Japan. Japan's going to be another challenge. And what I'm thinking is what I want to do, and I think it's a ballsy move, is eventually go to war with Canada after securing the British territory. Um, because what I want to do is I want to launch an invasion into Canada. And to do so, I need the British lands. And if I do invade... I get a lot of resources out of it because then I can have my troops on the northern part of the United States. And if I send 120 of my divisions over there combined with my tank divisions, I will probably overwhelm the United States. I can set up my Air Force perfectly. It's just a build-up period, and it's, it's been pretty fun. Um, the Stalin run, I think, is going to be ending tomorrow. The second, um, this video will probably come out before it. I'll probably do a three o'clock update and the three thirty actual video. Um, I know I'm already over fifteen minutes for this, but um, yeah, that's something I'm going to be doing. Um, I decided to make it a short run just because I wasn't too enthused to play Stalin for the millionth time. But nonetheless, um, I end the World War II by killing the Germans. That, that's it. And I've actually refined my run since I played Dostrovsky. Now I, I know the meme for heavy tanks. Um, the meta for them now, so they're really OP. I've made really good 30 whiffs. My infantry stay at 21. I know some people say 15 is the way to go, but I, I stick with 21 for my personal use. Um, just for my infantry divisions. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to discuss on that front. Not really. Um, the only other thing to look forward to is some Vicky 2. Um, I have two games. The first one's already done. I did it two Sicilies run. I was going to form Italy, but because I'm playing, um, I'm playing the mod, the uncivilized mod that's available for Vicky Two. Um, Italy formed, and when I tried to kill them, they kept spreading more like a cancer into Africa, 
And then they discovered the North American continent. And then they went over there. And I could never kill them and form Italy, so I stayed with two Sicilies. Nonetheless, it was a fun game, and I truly enjoyed it a lot. Um, it just kind of sucked that I couldn't do anything else. Uh, but I, I took a lot of territory, and I was satisfied. My industry was the apex of the world, and I was never more and more content. Um, besides that, I know I also have... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, if, uh, Vision, Visionagar? I'm also doing that currently. Uh, I finished a sh recording for like maybe half an hour to an hour ago. Um, I'm, I've only done one episode. Um, I was going to originally do Delhi, and then I learned there were a war with Kub uh, Cabal, Kubal, Kublai Khan. Yeah, Kublai Khan. And whenever I tried to go to war with them, they murdered me because they had a lot of troops, and they destroyed me. So I decided to play as them afterwards throw in Mughal stand and then I had Bengal come over and utterly destroy me because they had 80 troops and I had like 40. I fought them valiantly in the northern portions of Kashmir but they still nonetheless thoroughly wrecked me. Um, then I played Vizianagar. Um, I did and I've been doing pretty well with them for my first recording of it so uh, it, I'm going to keep that and I think that's who I'm playing as for India. I've already westernized in the game I believe so things are starting to pick up. Um, it's all right. I think I think I want to stop to like 1849, so it's it's getting on in years in the game, or 1850 actually more than likely. Uh, but nonetheless, that's kind of what I've been sticking to so far. So expect more Hoy, expect more Vicky Two coming out in the future. Um, as I said before, I'm kind of interested in doing more, uh, maybe doing some of the missions for New Game Plus under the raids and trials and stuff i just have to convince myself that i want to do it um if i was going to do it i think i'm going to stick with if i was going to do it i'd probably do all the heavens Ward stuff first then go for the stormblood stuff and then if i decide to then end up with the uh what do you call it the uh shadowbringer stuff um and kind of finish it up from there uh, but so far i haven't really got around to doing that just yet um that's I've been kind of doing all these other side things in the game, trying to get stuff going. I've been trying to get all my armor, too. I do have the most expensive portions of the endgame stuff for uh, the astronomy tombstones. I have both radiant males for the legs and the body. So I'm already set on that. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Stuff is working out for me. And I gotta just go get the rest of this done. Um, I'm close to getting the weapon. I think I'm one or two weeks. I think it's not this week, but next week I can get the weapon for it. So that's the other thing I'm going to be eyeing for. Otherwise, I'm pretty much going for the most expensive stuff first, just to kick them out of the way, so that I can get ready for like the weaker stuff coming in later. Because um, I, I don't know which one's the most expensive after that, other than the weapon. I think I know the weapon's 500. I just don't know which ones of these I'll go for next. I know I, I still have this Moon Ward ring, so I got to get rid of it for the Limbo one, and then have them flip, and then put the uh, new Radiant Mail stuff on there. Uh, but I, I've been truly enjoying this. So um, that update is done. That is all I wanted to say. There's nothing really else to go on with it. Um, I just wanted to make another update for this month just because it's February and I said so we might as well do an update. I don't know if I'll do a March update. I just wanted to do a February one since I'm already here with it. Um, so with that, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, everybody. Uh, enjoy the Hoi 4 finale for the Soviet Stalin run. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks.